Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. For the union makes us strong. But because my wish is just a wish, I pray that our leaders, including our minister in charge of health, Madam Nakumicha, before we impeach her, because definitely we are going to impeach her once we go back to parliament. Even if we are going to be 10 of us, we are going to impeach her. And she will feel the pain of feeling of, of being impeached because she is not doing the right thing. You cannot chest thump. And by the way, as a woman, I'm a very disappointed member of parliament. Having had campaigned for Kenya Kwanza government that much, only for me to see Nakumicha getting a job as CS in charge of health, and I was very excited when I saw her because I thought, finally, we have a woman in charge of health and therefore she would understand matters of health better than anybody else. Because women carry the more pains when it comes to issues of health. In fact, I was very happy because I thought, now that because we have a woman who is a CS of, in charge of health, matters maternal health and delivery, matters uh, uh, baby care and antenatal, matters cancer, I thought those are things that the woman having a woman minister and a woman PS in the same docket, I thought we would have the ceiling uncovered. But I'm very disappointed with Nakumicha. Because all she's doing, she has become a politician. Her work is to visit funerals every day. Unfortunately, the funerals where she's attending, those are patients who succumbed to death because of lack of treatment in the hospitals. It is unfortunate. That the whole CS we're supposed to be providing a solution is out now following people in coffins to go and bury them. Right now, I have come from a funeral <laughs> where the fa family where, where we were burying were, 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 were overwhelmed by, by the medical bills in a private facility. So they removed their patient from a fa private facility only to take to a public facility and they did not get doctor's attention and the young man succumbed to the illness. It is sad that Nakumicha is flying all over to follow coffins of deaths that she can prevent. Shame on her. Shame. 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 And therefore, Nakumicha must be impeached immediately after we get back to parliament. Our first business of the day is to impeach CS Nakumicha. We want this defunct government to move with speed. The president should not leave the country when there's a serious crisis, when people are dying. The health ministry is unhealthy. The health ministry is sick. The country is sick. And therefore, as a result of that, we have come up with an impeachment motion. We are going back on Tuesday to Parliament. And this is the letter that we've sent to the clerk of the National Assembly so far on an impeachment motion that we want to impeach the Cabinet Secretary for Health, Nakumicha, and we want her to continue staying at the funerals where she is enjoying staying instead of meeting the doctors and doing her job. So the letter reads, notice of motion, the removal of the cabinet secretary for Ministry of Health, Susan Nakumicha. Pass one to article 152.6 of the Constitution as read with standing order 66. I wish to notify you of the intention to move a special motion for removal of the cabinet secretary for health from office on two grounds. Namely, number one, gross violation of articles 26, 1 and 43, 1a of the Constitution, which provides for the right to the highest attainable standard of health, respectively. And, and two, incompetence. The, the cabinet secretary, the above grounds are based on the following particulars. The cabinet secretary has failed to appreciate the seriousness of the strike and has failed to provide a lasting solution to settle the demands of the medics, including hiring of trainee doctors and payment of salary arrears. Number two, the CS failed to avert the doctor's strike, which has now entered its third week. Those are 21 days. The CS has instead taken a hard line and is instead threatening the striking doctors with immediate sucking and replacement. And therefore, we shall disappoint her and we want the president to appoint somebody else. Number three, as a result of the doctor's strike, 
scores of Kenyans have been unable scores of Kenyans have been unable to access medical care and in dire cases some Kenyans have lost their lives i will be moving this motion and seek the resolution of the house to require his excellency the president to dismiss the cabinet secretary from office we have attached the necessary evidence in support of the allegations